Hey guys, D-Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Last time, the King of Red Lions was able to safely rescue us from being tossed into the ocean by that big old bird after we infiltrated the Forsaken Fortress. He took us here to break wind all island. We're going to do some side questing today. How does that sound, viewers? If you like side quests, if you like not dying... A grisly death in the ocean? Consider liking this video, commenting, and subscribing, of course. There's a lot to do here, but first things first, we're gonna take a little detour. I'm using just the absolute maximum knowledge that I have of the early part of this game. Something that I do know is that, uh, if you've ever played any of the Zelda games starting with the Oracle C series, Seasons and Ages, a little, uh, little friend in there that you might recognize. But he's a bit of a bad boy. And so we need to bust him out of jail. Let's see what he has in store for us. I do very much enjoy his plunger pop shoes. Yay! Could not do that sound with my mouth. Not even twice. Alright. So for busting him out of jail... This convict is going to give us a surprise. A little confetti to kick things off. Hooray! The Tingle Bottle! This is an incredibly useless item. In the GameCube version, it was the Tingle Tuner. We are incapable of using this. Miiverse is a long defunct messaging system on the Wii U that anybody who is essentially playing this game on that console is probably uh, long dead buried in the ground, so we will not be using this at all. No messages and bottles. It was a nice little artifact back in the day where you could communicate with other people playing the game. You would send in a message and they would essentially get it like you would in real life in a bottle. So, unfortunately, the digital version of that is no longer an option. So, we will not be doing that. We cannot communicate with the past, because Nintendo hates anything but the present. So here we go. Tingle is now inviting us to his private island. Oh boy. So we just got involved with the government drone, and now we're being invited to a private island by a fairy? Mmm, viewers. Hopefully your self-preservation instincts are high. But uh, Tingle is kind enough with his alcoholic nose to map quest us some printed out directions to where he lives. Should we go there, viewers? But yes, so Tingle is going to be pretty integral to completing the game fully if you want to. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to do that yet. Haven't quite decided. But to fully explore this game's high rule you're going to need to talk to tingle a lot so we'll see how much interaction we'll have with tingle usually in the past no stop quit no i hate this stop no no anyway um those settings don't matter you can't talk to anybody on Meverse anymore it's not really a thing it's probably for the best too because nintendo hasn't had the best track record with people using messaging services on their platforms. Let's go ahead real quick and steal Tingle's lunch money. Um, I don't remember what it was called, but there was a messaging system back in the day for the 3DS, I think, or the DS, one of the two handhelds, where you could essentially send whatever you wanted to somebody. It was meant to be like a cute, playful little thing. And then of, cur of course, of course, uh, perverts got a hold of it and started sending inappropriate content to children. So don't do that. Um, yeah, and that platform obviously was very quickly pulled by Nintendo once they found out that it was being used for bad. So, uh, don't do bad things, ever. Be nice to people. Okay, so, I think I'm gonna... I don't really know where I'm going here. I'm just kind of winging it. I feel like I have like a, like a weird memory of where I'm supposed to go, but I could be completely wrong. Hopefully this is good. Ooh, Ruby. 
Okay. Ooh, viewers. My intuition was correct. Treasure. All right, let's go ahead and destroy this first. Nice. You're gonna want a decent amount of money. At least 80 rupees. But first, this is an important item. I think this is, I don't know if this is optional or not. It might be. The Picto Box. So, government drone, man-child fairy inviting us to his private island, Picto Box. Oh boy. Thankfully, it can only take 12 photos, but yikes. Make sure you're... You get consent with what you take photos of. Viewers, don't be a bad. So we're going to go ahead and take the quick way out. Our rats. Going this way will pop you back out into the ocean. What's up, bro? Okay, bye. So that's the first thing that you need to do. We saw the second thing that we're going to do. We actually ran into some rascals on our way to introduce Windfall Island. These troublemakers are going to be a problem. But first... We go in the wrong door. Oops. Yeah. Bet you never saw that coming. That was the classic me misdirect. Here, do you make industries? We like to uh, keep you on your toes. So we need to find these children. Specifically, this boy right here. This rascal. The killer bees led by none other than Ivan the Terrible. Why don't you buzz off? I really cannot stand... Uh, Things that buzz and or fly. Very afraid of actual bees. Take that for what it's worth. Anytime I see them, I will cower in fear. So these children have led us to entering another door that I'm not intended to go into yet. That is two for two so far. This is where I wanted to go. Oops. As you can see, this is uh, where they do some buck learning. All right. So those kids are being a little truant, a little absent from their education. And this is their teacher, <laughs> Miss Marie, her school of joy. So she doesn't know us. We are, of course, homeschooled. We don't need no education. But we need to talk. A bit flashy for a teacher, of course with your natural pink hair. She's been teaching for 20 years, so two things are true. She loves children, and she hates money. But she is here to teach us about true joy. But the problem is this delinquent gang does not want to play along. So unfortunately for her, without their presence, they're not going to be able to tune in to her messaging. So we're going to talk some sense into him. Yes, ma'am. So, they th she claims that we're the same age, but as you saw walking around, uh, we're like a head taller than them. So I'm not sure exactly how that works. But anyway, once you come out here, you'll see right away that... Uh, Everybody's going to skedaddle. But we actually need to specifically talk to this guy. Mr. No-Nose. Got him. Huh. I mean, you're kind of being disrespectful to teach, so... We're going to have to put you in your place, boy. Look at this guy in the background. He's like, huh? Yeah, how about you play by the rules, you anarchist? So, Ivan's going to challenge us to a little competition. For him to agree to go back to school, 
we gotta find the killer bees. So just a heads up, none of them are going to be outside the island or inside. So when I say outside, I mean they'll they'll physically be vi they'll be visible somewhere on the island. And you have to go find four of them, of course. Let's see. I don't remember where any of them are, so that'll be great. Um, we will find them, of course. Let's see. Ooh. A little exploring goes a long way. Okay. I never really cared much for hide and seek when I was a kid. It's probably because I was uh, usually the one hiding and then people would be like, well, guess we're done seeking. And then you get left alone. There's our first kid. Gotcha, chump. Ooh. Kids have rubber bones. That probably didn't just completely snap his ankles. Okay, so that's one down, one out of four. Good work so far. Whoop. Three to go. Let's see who else we can find. Ooh. No, go away from me. No, the elderly, gross. All right. There is the ringleader himself. Oh no, father time. Oh go, gross. Your tale of woe, ah, uh, ew, no. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry, Pops. Ain't got time for that. We're here to wrangle some children. So there's Ivan. He's running away. We've already taken care of him. You don't have to worry about that. There is, oddly enough, a... Gravestone. Hiding child number three! Ha-ha! <laughs> they all will do the Naruto run. Hope you can swim. <laughs> Would have been really dark if that kid was uh, flailing away, runs, and then, you know, just precipitously drowns right in front of us. Oh uh, yeah, sorry, uh, Miss Marie. Um, there were actually only three children in your class. You counted heads wrong. And over here, this is the... It's another location we'll go back to later. This is actually an important spot, but... Oops, didn't mean to do that. Great. Well, now you can see a little bit of the swimming mechanic in the lower right, and that's Link's oxygen meter, which apparently, um, maybe it's preferring more to, like, strength, because, as far as I know, you can breathe when your head is in the air. I'm not a dolphin. All right. So let's go ahead and see if we can... There we go! Use our Siddlin' skills from the Forsaken Fortress. Let's get that nice zoomed-in look. Mm, I'm gonna get you. You're never gonna hide from me, kids. Don't actually say that, by the way. Don't ever say that to a child. All right. And child number four. With his Pokemon Diamond. Uh, one of the Galactic Leader haircuts. Very cool. So now we have put all those whippersnappers in their places. We can head back to class and talk to Miss Marie and claim our reward. Every good deed deserves payment. All right. So going all the way around town, this is the only way to go. Probably not. That was actually very much the scenic route. So we've done this. Very cool. All right, lady, cough it up. We found your rascals. Okay, apparently not. Uh, probably need to talk to Ivan first. Oops. Where are you? All right, you big dummies. I did find all four of you. I don't know where they run off to, though. There you are. Come back. They're so fast. Stop! Halt! Boy! 
Oh, oops. Oh, thanks. Okay. So, I don't know. I mean, we have... No, sir. No time. You're disgusting. You're old. I'm going to threaten you with violence. All right, so we have technically, quote, found everybody. But we have to chase Ivan down, I guess. One last time. This is really annoying. Can you stop? No! Get out of here, helmet head. Okay. Alright. I don't know. I guess, just like I did with the other kid, I just have to run into him. Turn this into a physical altercation, of course. Oh, we're almost there. Just like trying to chase pigs. Yeah, sucker. How's that feel? So you got to play a little bit of tag. And you're it. Uh, okay. I thought this was... Oh, do I actually have to run into all four of them? After I find... Oh, no. Viewers, I might have goofed. I thought just like... Ugh. In order to be successful, you have to touch children. Do not do that. All right. This is a... Hands to yourself. Run through. Oh boy, I do not remember... Where the other two got to, unfortunately. Oh boy. Oh, viewers, I might have failed you. Ooh. I saw the one kid run into the water. That might have been the one that we already talked to. It might have been smart to, you know, pay attention to where they were going, but I got so excited that I thought I was making progress. Hey, do any of you see any uh, little jerks skittering around town? There's only two of you. I have no idea what the other two would be. I mean, there's only so many places for them to be, I guess. I don't know if the one stuck... Wait, there you are. Come here, you turd. No. Stop. And it's great that they... Ugh, this is not... <laughs> this is not very compelling. I apologize. Oh, I just... I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Ooh, they're both over here. Okay. That's convenient. Come back here. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of, all right, where's the other one? Here you are. Rolling is a little bit of a faster form of transportation. Oh, come on. Oh, why does this happen to my Let's Plays? Stop it. There we go. That's enough. Okay, so you do actually have to physically run into them. So, we have now taken down the killer bees. And our reward for such a task is... A piece of heart, I'm not sure how they have this. Basically, uh, this is like stealing one of their kidneys. So, that's the going rate for hide and seek on Windfall Island. So they want us to apologize on behalf of them. And talking to Miss Marie actually is a great idea because you get a pretty nice little prize. Okay. Hello. We found him. We found your little jerk kits. That's it. Now you can go paddle them. Like the good old days when hitting children was cool. A little spare change. So this is actually her yearly salary, so now she is broke and she will be homeless. Unless this is a front for something else. You can actually see that the pictures of the kids are on this board. <laughs> Which I think is nice. The uh, little touches in this game are, of course, very good. So we are going to actually play a mini game here in a moment. Oh, it's her birthday? Okay. That's nice. Some kind of present? How about stop being jerks? That's a great present. Mm. 
Woman always loves a good pearl necklace. But now we're about to find out that Miss Marie is a big fan of joy pendants. So if you're able to collect a bunch of them, I'm not sure how many, it's probably a lot. You will uh, be rewarded with a prize. I don't know what it is. So we will figure that out eventually. But now it's time for a mini game. Who's ready? This my friends is Salvatore. And this is going to be how we will be concluding this episode. To play a game for kids. Oh yes. Prepare yourselves for this. <laughs> oh, welcome to the fleet. I am the great Admiral Dolvaski. Look sharp for z Wow, this is really tough for me to do. For we are the soul protectors of this island. Alright. So he's doing his very best impression of someone. Sonar? I feel like that's probably not something that anybody here knows about. Echolocation is not really known to people of uh, this generation. Maybe they do know? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how advanced in technology the people of Windfall are. But anyway, we're going to be playing a little bit of Battleship. There are four ships that we need to find. And we have 20 shots to do so. So there's... These uh, ships have, um, there's a four, a three, a two, a one, oh sorry, we have 24 shots. So that's pretty good. I want to, I don't, I don't honestly know like if there's any rhyme or reason to do this, but uh, this is a pretty uh, infamous part of this game, especially for speed running. Hearing people say sploosh, that'll never get old. Okay, so that's the wrong way. You're gonna wanna try to line up the shots with whatever direction you think the ship is. So obviously this one, there are three ships, I said four, that's wrong. So there's a four, a three, and I think a two. So basically, I'm just kinda randomly guessing where they would be. I have no real knowledge of how to do this. Okay, so this one might be vertical. What? Oh, that was the second ship. Okay, that's actually good. Finding the second, finding the two ship is probably one of the most difficult. So I'm very glad that we did that. Oh boy, this is not looking good. Trying to find panels where there would be potentially four lined up. Oh no. One, two, three, four, five. We have seven shots left. Oh boy, viewers, I'm not feeling optimistic. Uh, wait, viewers. Okay, that's first try. We've done it. That is wonderful, and for our success, our prize is. Cheering on from a creepy man with a painting, but we get a piece of heart. The second piece of heart on the island. We are one away from... A full piece of... I don't even know why that took me so long. Like, that made my, my brain... Um, that made my brain really hurt. So, that's something that we will... Um, we'll do that another time feel pretty good about that the real thing that we're gonna have to do actually though we came here for a purpose and that purpose was to embark in some capitalism which we will do with this fella next time so thanks for watching everybody I've been D Mike this has been the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD and I'll see you next time bye